My name is Caroline. I'm from North Carolina, USA. Amen. What brought you here today to see the man of God? I, I came for deliverance. Um, this is not my first time being uh, with Charis. Uh, I, when I was uh, pregnant, this was back in 2019. I um, was having terrible nightmares and uh, in those dreams, I was getting attacks for uh, my relationship with uh, my child's father and um, just my life in general. So I was concerned about the pregnancy, so I came for deliverance. When I came for the deliverance, as soon as I walked into the room for the one-on-one -on -one session, uh, Pastor Makana Nisa told me uh, congratulations, you're seven months pregnant. And it was true, I had just turned seven months. And then he went ahead and told me, uh, Arezi. And he asked me what that meant. And I said, I don't know. He told me uh, in his culture, it means we will see what God will do. Um, so he went ahead and told me that, um, number one, my child was in breach. So he said, God, God, is, God needs to position the child for birth. So he asked me to stand up and take a few steps back. And he physically turned his hand and my child physically started to turn in my womb from breach into the right position, head down. So when I went for the uh, doctor's appointment, the child stayed in that position until birth. The other thing that the man of God um, told me was he said that he wants me to remember this he said that during you know during labor sometimes you know there's a lot of stress and you tend to forget but he said you have to remember this this is a matter of life and death he said that when i go to the hospital i need to remember that i cannot have cs and that if i attempt to have CS, I will not wake up from that table. So when I went, um, when I was 39 weeks and three days, the doctor asked me to go into the hospital for induction because they were concerned that the baby's um, body was too small um, compared to other children that would be at that gestational age. So. I was admitted. Um, one of the medications they gave me was a cytotec to induce labor. So when they gave me that, it started the contractions. And then after four hours, they gave me another smaller dose. Once they gave that to me, it triggered too much contractions that now it put the child in, rest, in distress. So the child's heart rate dropped from 150 something to 60. We were losing the child. So I was a rapid response in the hospital where the providers all respond at the bedside. And because I was an OB patient, that meant that they had to immediately prep the OR because their next action was to evacuate the child because the child was in distress and we would have lost it at any moment. So at that very moment, I remembered Pastor Makananisa, what he had said. So I told the doctors, we cannot go to the OR. So what they did was they injected me with a medication called tabutalim, which helps reduce contractions. So once they gave that to me, it started to help, but it was taking time. And so the doctors were getting very anxious and they're saying, you are really risking here. We need to go we need to go um, for the CS. So in my heart, I was praying and just saying, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And so the heart rate started going back up and it went up to 180. So she um, was able to be sustained in my womb. So I went through the, you know, it, it took me two days of labor, but eventually I did give birth um, you know, I pushed the child out just like the way Pastor Makananisa had said. So he had actually, he saved my life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Then he also prophesied and said um, that in my heart, I look at my partner and I ask, will this man really marry me? And he said, God has said it is done. So therefore, 
everything that you've come here for today is a raise. We will see what God will do. So that is my testimony. And my little girl is over here and she's four years old. Amen. Thank you so much. Amen.